Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Adam Moose, and today in this series called In Depth, I'm gonna be breaking down everything that you need to know about Nunu Jungle. It's cold out there. Nunu is known for his ability to completely tilt the enemy team off the face of the earth with his deadly ganks and high tempo playstyle. He has a unique kit that's very fun to play and extremely frustrating to play against. If you enjoy the content, it really helps me out if you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to help your boy out with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to talk with me and other members in the community who are looking to improve, be sure to join the Discord link that's in the description. I hope you guys can learn something. Enjoy the video. Nunu's passive is called Call of the Frel Yord. Nunu and Willem's next instance of damage dealt to an enemy champion, large monster, or structure grants both Willem and the nearest allied champion Call of the Frel Yord for 4 seconds, prioritizing the ally with the highest attack speed. Call of the Frel Yord grants 20% bonus attack speed, 10% movement speed, and allows Willem's basic attacks to deal bonus physical damage to secondary targets in a cone in front of him. Nunu cannot trigger Call of the Frail Yard from the same enemy for a short amount of time, and successful triggers will stack the duration. This is a simple passive that grants Nunu a quick boost, and more importantly, an ally with the highest attack speed as well. This is not only useful to increase clear speeds and early skirmishing power, but also to buff up your carries in mid to late game team fights. Nunu's Q is called Consume. Willem takes a bite out of the target enemy, dealing magic damage and healing himself. This heal is increased by 50% when below half HP. This deals true damage instead versus minions and monsters, and the heal is increased by 25%. Additionally, if consume would kill the target, the minion or monster is stunned, pulled, and eaten over the cast time. This is a simple yet extremely powerful ability that provides Nunu with tons of sustain, solid damage in the early game, and also an amazing objective secure with a Q smite combo, which we'll discuss in further detail shortly. Nunu's W is called Biggest Snowball Ever. Nunu cleanses himself from all slows and starts channeling for up to 10 seconds, becoming ghosted, slow immune, and creating a snowball that he begins rolling in the direction of your cursor. The snowball increases in power over 5 seconds and expands in size over that duration. Willem can also steer this snowball with a slow turn rate that increases over time, which resets upon changing direction. Nunu and Willem have their movement speed reduced by 50% for the first second, but start gaining movement speed every 0.25 seconds after that, up to a cap. The snowball then explodes upon colliding with an enemy champion, large monsters or terrain, dealing magic damage to all surrounding enemies, knocking them up, and stunning them. The damage, knockup duration, and stun time are all increased based on your snowball's charge time. The snowball will also roll over enemy minions and small monsters in its path, dealing 33% magic damage. You can also recast Biggest Snowball Ever at any point after 0.5 seconds, sending it rolling forward up to a maximum distance during which it will not grow any larger and will explode upon colliding with an enemy unit. An important thing to note is that all increases in movement speed will stay throughout the duration of the cast, making your snowball extremely fast. This is by far Nunu's most impactful signature ability, which is one of the best ganking tools in the entire game. This provides huge movement speed in CC, it can be used to gank lanes, knock up enemies in fights, or even to move around the map extremely fast. Directing the snowball with precision takes some time to learn, but is probably the most important thing to master when learning Nunu. Nunu's E is called Snowball Barrage. Nunu swiftly throws out a volley of 3 snowballs in the target direction over 0.4 seconds, each snowball shattering upon hitting an enemy, dealing magic damage to enemies in a cone. Enemies hit 3 times are slowed for 1 second. Champions and large monsters hit once are also snowbound for 4 seconds, refreshing on each hit. This spell can be recast twice within 3 seconds at no additional cost. When recast, Nunu hurls another volley of snowballs, mimicking the first cast's effects. An enemy may only be slowed once when hit by 3 snowballs, and finally after 3 seconds of the first cast, snowbound enemies around Willump take magic damage and are rooted. This ability is a great utility tool that allows Nunu to kite and lock down enemies while moving. This can be used to chase, as an escape tool, or even to DPS enemies down in close call fights. Nunu's ultimate is called Absolute Zero. 
Nunu and Willem channel for up to 3 seconds, sapping heat from the surrounding area, gaining a shield, and slowing all enemies within. When recast, Nunu causes the area to explode, dealing magic damage and slowing all nearby enemies. The damage and slow duration both increase based on the channel time, causing massive AoE damage and utility if enemies are caught inside. This is Nunu's main team fighting tool, which creates a massive zone in which enemies will need to choose whether to fight you or to run outside of the range. Keep in mind that hard CC will cancel your ult, so choosing the right moment or positioning out of vision will be crucial to land as impactful of an ulti as possible. We'll discuss more tips on this in the jungling section, but keep in mind that this spell is by far Nunu's most impactful ability when it comes to mid and late game team fighting. For ability maxing, Nunu maxes Q first, E second, and W third in all situations. For early clearing, your skill order depends on your desired clear, which we'll discuss in a bit. Now let's jump right into Nunu's best rune setups for Season 12. As we'll discuss more in the item section, Nunu has two main builds, tank and AP. We'll go over the best rune pages for each setup separately. For tank Nunu, Phase Rush and Aftershock are going to be by far your most consistent keystone options. Phase Rush is the most common, giving Nunu the ability to engage and disengage with ease, proccing very quickly, especially with his E. For the Sorcery page, Nimbus Cloak, Celerity, and Water Walking are going to be the go-to choices, giving you a ton of move speed, which synergizes very well with Nunu's kit. For secondaries, Precision with Legend Tenacity and Triumph is great into heavy CC teams, while Domination with either Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, and Relentless Hunter are a solid overall pick. Zombie Ward can also be a strong choice in higher elos, but in low elos where players don't ward much, it's not really recommended. Aftershock is the other main keystone choice, used when you're the primary engage into teams with heavy burst damage and lockdown. To close out the Resolve Tree, Font of Life, Conditioning, and either Revitalize for extra healing, or Unflinching for some needed tenacity. For secondary, there are two main options. First is Domination with Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, and Relentless Hunter, as mentioned earlier, or Sorcery with Celerity and Water Walking for that extra move speed. Now let's go over the best rune pages for Nunu's AP setup. First off and most common is First Strike. This provides AP Nunu with some great burst and some extra gold income when constantly engaging in fights. To close out the Inspiration page, Perfect Timing, Futures Market, and either Cosmic Insight or Approach Velocity are going to be your go-tos. When running First Strike, both the Domination and Sorcery Secondaries mentioned earlier are the most consistent options. Next is Dark Harvest, which is similar to First Strike when it comes to Burst, but provides you with more late game scaling if you can pick up multiple stacks. Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, and either Relentless or Ultimate Hunter will close out the Domination Tree. For Secondary, Sorcery is going to be your go-to. For Rune Shards, Tank Nunu always runs Attack Speed Adaptive, while AP Nunu is stronger with Double Adaptive. You then finish it off with either Armor or Magic Resist, depending on Jungle Matchup or Team Comp. Now that we've covered Nunu's top Rune Pages, let's discuss Item Builds. To start, both Red Smite and Blue Smite are viable options. Red Smite helps with dueling into tankier teams, while Blue Smite allows you to lock down squishies with more utility. If you have an extra 350 gold early on, Dark Seal is a fantastic item on both Tank and AP Nunu since he has great AP scaling. For Boots, Tank Nunu always runs either Plated Steel Caps or Merc Treads, depending on if the enemy team is heavy AD or filled with CC. For AP Nunu, Sorks are a great burst option into lots of squishies. For Mythics, Tank Nunu has two options. Sunfire Aegis is by far the most consistent choice as it gives you tons of extra damage and tenacity. If the enemy team is extremely mobile and your team lacks utility, Frostfire Gauntlet can also be a decent choice. For AP Nunu, Crown of the Shattered Queen is by far the best overall pick. The shield it provides allows you to engage without getting instantly deleted since you're a squishy melee champion with no dash. Now for core tank items, Randuin's Omen for anti-AD and crit, Spirit Visage for MR and healing, Thornmail for anti-healing, Force of Nature for move speed and MR, and Deadman's Plate for move speed and armor. You can even pick up supportive items such as Knight's Vow and Abyssal Mask if you want to play to enable your teammates. 
Now for AP, Shadow Flame against Squishies, Void Staff into Heavy MR, and Zhonya's Hourglass for some extra survivability. Since Nunu has two builds, he has a ridiculous amount of item diversity. In general, the tank build is more consistent and scales better, while the AP build gives you a ton of carry potential but can be punished harder. Learning in which game to go each build is step 1. Step 2 is figuring out which items in that chosen build will be most efficient. This comes with time, so it's very important to always pay attention to both your team comp and enemy champions to counter them effectively. Your goal as Tank Nunu is to create as much space for your team as possible, while also providing utility, and your goal with AP Nunu is to simply delete enemies while not inting in the process. Now let's hop right into Nunu's general jungle strategy and pathing. First is to keep in mind that Nunu's main strength as a jungler is his early ganking ability, so this should be your main priority when building your game plan. Identifying the vulnerable enemy lanes and your team's win conditions, then playing towards that, is going to greatly increase your chances of success. Nunu works very well on low econ, so definitely don't be afraid of missing out on some farming to pull off plays when you get the opportunity. Regarding ganking, Using Scuttlecrab's movement speed bonus before you snowball is a great tip to increase your gank threat. Since the movement speed translates to your snowball speed, this will make your ganks even harder to avoid. Next is learning the different use cases of your W. Although most times you'll want to control the snowball until it hits your target, sometimes your best bet is to recast it and send in rolling for a non-committal engage or to quickly turn and W to knock up enemies when trying to escape. Since Nunu's Q deals a ton of damage to monsters, learning the damage of your Q-Smite combo to secure objectives will be a huge difference maker in your games. Playing against a Nunu who can do this consistently is extremely tilting, since if they're alive, you'll always have to second guess doing Baron or Dragon, even if you have the numbers advantage. Next is how to maximize your effectiveness in fights with your E and Alt which are both pretty simple spells, but when used correctly, will make you extremely annoying to deal with. Since you can use your E while moving, a lot of times your best bet will be to avoid auto attacking and get yourself into an optimal position to root enemies. This is even easier when running phase rush to stick onto mobile carries. When team fighting, your ultimate can be a complete game changer, but can also be easily dodged or cancelled if used at the wrong time. Keeping an eye out for enemies wasting key CC spells, or even using vision to your advantage to force enemies to face check you and eat massive damage. You can also time your ult when enemies get rooted with your E to ensure they're stuck inside. Now for actual jungle roots, Nunu has two main viable pathing strategies. First and most consistent is the 4 or 5 camp clear into gank. This allows you to farm up and hit level 3 before starting your ganking spree. The most important part is deciding which lanes you want to play around so you can start on the opposite side of the map. Next is the 3 camp gank path, which involves fully clearing one side of the map before ganking. This is used if you see an enemy extremely overextended or with no flash, so you can instantly punish them. For both paths, keep in mind that killing Krugs takes Nunu forever, so avoiding them early on is going to be a big time saver if you can. Lastly, Nunu's skill order depends on the side of the map that you start on. Q into E is more effective for the blue side, while Q into W is more efficient in the red quadrant. Since Nunu's main strength is his early map pressure, it's very important to make use of every single opportunity you get, since missing out can be the difference between a win and a loss. Nunu's biggest weakness is definitely that he gets countered by good vision control. Since he really relies on snowballing the early game, no pun intended, Nunu starts to struggle in higher elos where players track jungle pathing and ward accordingly. To build on this, Nunu generally struggles in the late game for a couple reasons. First is that he's not as effective as other late game tanks such as Zac or Scion who provide tons of tankiness and utility. Nunu's only real defensive tools are his Q heal and ult shield, which means late game carries will easily shred through you on a couple items. In addition, when these carries start picking up defensive items such as Crown, Zhonya's, and Guardian Angel, finding a good engage angle becomes increasingly more difficult. Regarding jungle matchups, Nunu gets countered by highly mobile champions such as Kane and Kindred, 
and by utility CC champions such as Fiddlesticks, Sejuani, and Udyr. These champs all have the ability to either dodge your snowballs and outscale you, or to simply CC you out of your ult and counter your engages. And finally, let's discuss what makes Nunu such an oppressive pick in the jungle. First is simply how strong his ganks are, which is one of the most tilting things in the entire game to play against. His snowball is such a powerful ganking tool, which can be used through river or even down lanes to completely crush the enemy's mentals with almost no counterplay. We all know that feeling of playing against Nunu and all of your laners start dying and type jungle diff in chat when you've not even finished off your first clear yet. Next is that Nunu provides solid utility, zoning, and engage for your team, meaning he's always going to be a useful champ to have in your comp. Although Nunu does start falling off later on, the early and mid game impact he has really just does allow your team to get extremely fed and then win the game from there. In addition, Nunu thrives at securing objectives with his Q-Smite combo, which cannot be underrated. Every time both junglers line up to secure any objective, Nunu will almost always come out on top, giving your team a big advantage in those 50-50 situations. Regarding jungle matchups, Nunu loves playing into champs that take time to scale up to become useful. Examples are champions like Amumu, Karthus, and Evelyn, who will be casually farming their jungles while you dominate the map. To build on this, Nunu is also very good into assassins such as Talon, Diana, and Kiana, since he can soak up their damage and CC them down, allowing your team to deal with them much more easily. Nunu is a versatile and very unique early game snowball machine that's tons of fun to play, but is super tilting to play against. If you're looking for a ganking jungler with a fast paced playstyle to take over games on, Nunu is definitely the pick for you. Just do me one favor, don't be that ghost cleanse disco Nunu, please. That will do it for my season 12 in-depth guide on Nunu Jungle. If you want to support my content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to keep up with my weekly uploads. Most people who watch are not subbed and any extra support really helps my channel grow. I also want to give a big shout out to Snowball Barrage, who's a Grandmaster Nunu main who helped a ton with making this guide, so make sure to check out his stream link in the description for some top tier Nunu gameplay. If you have any questions or opinions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll be giving away free coaching sessions every month to members of the Discord, so be sure to click the link in the description if you're interested. With all that being said, thanks again for watching, until the next video, peace out.